Hey there, kids. Pastor Tim here for another week of Sunday School to Go. I am so happy that you get to worship God along with me, that we get to learn all about God's great big love, and we get to think about how we can show that love to others. We're going to start today by singing a song, and it's one we sang last week, and again, it's one of my absolute favorites. It is called The Hippo Song. And some of you I know don't know the actions, and so it's pretty simple. It goes like this. In the beginning, God made the seas and the forests filled with trees. God made the mountains up so high, and above it all, God made the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere just to show how much God cares. In this time, God had some fun. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. Hip, 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 opatomus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Very good. Let's sing it. Let's try and do it the fastest we have ever done it. I'm going to shake it out. Okay, ready? just broken a record that was pretty good you're good at that okay now today we have a very special story we're talking about adam and eve right the first people that god made we're going to talk about how we get to care for god's good creation when god created the world god decided that help was needed so god called out to the people that god had made and god said I want you to help me take care of this amazing world. The first person named all the animals, toucans and chickadees and monkeys and squirrels and so many more. Adam and Eve cared for God's amazing world. Who do you take care of? Do you have a little brother or sister you take care of? Do you take care of your friends? What about your mom or your dad or your grandma or grandpa? How do you take care of others? How do you help your parents take care of your house or your apartment or yard or animals or siblings? Why don't you pause for a moment and you can talk to each other. Who takes care of you and how do you help take care of things? Welcome back. The first people we learn in our story named all of the animals. Who named you? Why did they choose your name? Why don't you pause this video again and you can find your mom or your dad or grandma or grandpa who knows this story and ask them why they chose your name for you. Why don't you pause this and go do that now? Welcome back. I can share my name. My name is Timothy George, right? And I'm named after two important people in my family. I'm named after my dad, whose name is Timothy or Tim. 
and I'm named after my grandpa and uncle, who are both named George. Timothy, George, family names. Caring for the world is a really big job. It takes a lot of work. So what does your face look like when you're working hard? Can you show me? Mine looks like this. Those were some pretty good hard work faces. I like it a lot. And now we're gonna learn a special verse from the Bible. It's a verse that comes from the book of Psalms. And you can repeat after me to learn it. It goes like this. Great is the Lord. Okay, ready? Let's do it again, ready? Great is the Lord. All right, one more time. Ready? Great is the Lord. Beautiful. That comes from Psalm 145. And now, our story for the day. It comes from a very special book. It's a special story. What is this book? That's right. It's the Bible. And who talks to us when we open this book and read it? That's right. God and Jesus talk to us through the Holy Spirit whenever we do that. Our story today comes from the first book of the Bible, Genesis, and it's all about the first people that God created, Adam and Eve. After creating the whole world, God looked around and was very happy. It was an incredible world filled with wonderful animals and plants, and it included two very special people, a person named Adam and a person named Eve. God made a beautiful place for the two people to live, an amazing garden. God named the first one Adam and the second one Eve. God said to Adam and Eve, I need someone to help me take care of this amazing world. Will you help me? Adam and Eve said, sure, we'd love to help you, God. Adam and Eve were happy to care for God's beautiful world. All around them was incredible creation. Together they walked around the garden, amazed at what they saw. There were trees that were tall and trees that were short, fat trees and skinny trees, plants all around. Wow, Eve, Adam said, look at this. There are flowers of every size and color. Amazing, Eve said to Adam. It's all so beautiful. There were still quiet blue pools of water and a rustling breeze that blew through the garden. Everywhere they looked, they saw an amazing world. When she looked at all the amazing animals that God placed in the garden, the ones that fluttered through the sky, the ones that wiggled and squirmed across the ground, and the ones that frolicked and played across the land, Eve said, it's going to be hard to keep track of them all. Don't worry, Eve, Adam said. God asked me to give all the animals names to help us keep track and care for them all. This over here is the toucan, and this is the chickadee, and this is a monkey, and this is a squirrel, and this is a gorilla, and this is a giraffe, and this is a seal, and this is a walrus, and this is a penguin. <gasps> and he went on and on, and they got to know all the animals. This tall, tall creature is called giraffe. The silly one with the long nose, she will be an elephant. And this one who wags his little tail will be a dog. Adam said, look how this dog follows me wherever I go. God watched over Adam and Eve as Adam shared all the names of the animals while they played with them in the garden. God was happy to see that Adam and Eve were taking such good care of everything in creation. So what happened in this story? Yeah. We saw that God placed Adam and Eve in God's beautiful creation, in God's amazing garden, and God told them to name and take care of all of the animals. And so we learn from this our Bible verse that, ready, can you do it with me? God is great. 
excuse me, I did that wrong. Ready? Let's try it again. Ready? Great is the Lord. Let's do it two more times to remember it the right way. Ready? Great is the Lord. Ready? One more time. Great is the Lord. Oh, man, you are so good at that. Even when I kind of mess it up a little bit, you do such a good job. It's okay to mess it up sometimes. This is a song called Do My Best, because Adam and Eve told God they would do their best to take care of the world. And it goes, love, I'll love, I'll love you, Lord, forever. Love, I'll love, I'll love you, Lord, forever. And then it goes, I'll do my best, I'll do my best. Oh, 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 I'll do my best for you. Oh, okay? Ready? We're ready. Love, I'll love, I'll love you, Lord, forever. Love, I'll love, I'll love you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best, I'll do my best, whoa, I'll do my best for you. Oh, oh, oh. take care of God's amazing world, just like Adam and Eve did. How does your family take care of God's amazing world? Turn and talk to someone in your family and ask them that question. How do we help take care of God's amazing world? Do you recycle? Do you use reusable bags at the grocery store? Do you feed your pets? Do you plant flowers or trees or vegetables? How else do you care for God's amazing world? Now, older kids... I'd invite you now to start reading the rest of the story. In your Bible, open up to the book of Genesis. Genesis means beginning, and it's at the very beginning. Open up to Genesis chapter 2, verses 4 through 25. Genesis chapter 2, verses 4 through 25. Go ahead and read that story. And then talk to someone around you and tell them what happened in the story. Tell your family in your own words. And as you read the story, think, how does God make people? What does God do in this part of the story to make people? Hmm. This is a song called Lord You Are, and it's a nice, soft song for us. It goes, Lord, you are more precious than silver. Lord, you are more costly than gold. Lord, you are more beautiful than diamonds, and nothing I desire compares with you.
precious than silver, Lord, you are more costly than gold, Lord, you are more beautiful than diamonds, and nothing I desire compares with you. Now that you've got it, we're going to say something else. Because the thing is that we sing this song to God, but God also sings this song to us. God looks at each of us, and each of us is God's child. So God says, child, you are more precious than silver. Let's sing that one together. Ready? Child, you are more precious than silver. Child. God thinks you are precious and worthwhile and beautiful. In the beginning, God got down on God's hands and knees, and out of the clay and dust of the earth, God created the first people from the ground. And then God took that clay and that dust and breathed into its nostrils, right up its nose. God breathed. life into the person. This week, go and find some clay or some Play-Doh and mold it into the shape of a person. When you finish, you can pretend you're part of this story by breathing in a big breath and blowing it out right on your little clay person. You can thank God for the breath of life that keeps us all alive. And now as we close, let's pray together. You can fold your hands and bow your head so we can focus on God together. Repeat after me. Dear God, you breathe life into each of us. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of love. Teach us to take care of your earth. Amen. All right. Go and take care of God's great earth today. We'll see you next week.